Coming up in today's episode of TPW Weekly, I'm going to be talking all about Toy Story Land that's now open at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Along with that, I'll be sharing an exciting video clip released by Energylandia of Hyperion testing for the first time. It looks absolutely incredible and I can't wait to get out there and ride it. Along with that, more updates including Euros at Can Can Coaster at Europa Park, a brand new weekly section here on our episodes and so much more. I'm Sean Sandbrook, this is TBW Weekly, and that means it's time to cue those titles. Wednesday the 4th of July 2018 and welcome to this week's video. Firstly let me start off by wishing all of our American followers a happy Independence Day. Whatever you're up to today I hope you have a fantastic time. A few updates there that from the channel. I've now released that every single day there will now be a video uploaded to Theme Park Worldwide. It might be a vlog, it could be these episodes every Wednesday, it could be our Let's Play Planet Coaster series. If you do love Theme Park gaming then go and check it out. I love Planet Coaster and I'm currently about half Halfway through building this studio's park. Uh, so head over there and check that out. Uh, if not one of those episodes, it will be an on or off ride video, maybe something from a show, an interview, something a little bit different. Uh, but yes, there will be a new video uploaded to the channel every day. So keep your eyes peeled for that here on Theme Park Worldwide. The weather out there has been absolutely gorgeous over the past week or so, and that's set to continue over the next couple of weeks, they're saying, uh, which is brilliant. Lots of exciting content to come on the channel. Uh, next week, we're heading to Butlins in Minehead, where we're also going to be travelling down to a few parks in the area as well. Uh, going to be going to the pier in Western Supermare, having a little look around there and doing some local attractions. Heading to Breen Leisure Park uh, to do a video there. And uh, yeah, so much more to stay tuned for here on the channel. Uh, there's brand new vlogs online from Ocean Beach Pleasure Park in South Shields. Uh, we went there for a couple of hours whilst we was on the way to the Hoppins and our video from the Hoppins will be online tomorrow night as in Thursday here on the channel. Uh, there's also a brand new vlog from Southport Pleasureland that is well worth checking out and uh, so like I say it's one of the newer vlogs in our vlogs playlist uh, so go and check it out. How many times did I say vlogs there? A lot. But uh, yeah, there's always so much going on here on Theme Park Worldwide. I look forward to staying committed to the channel and of course uploading brand new videos every day. Anyway, without further ado, let's move on to our weekly Theme Park News Roundup. Now something that I've been looking forward to for quite a long time since it was first announced is Hyperion at Energylandia and this week the ride has tested for the very first time and the footage that I'm going to show you now on the screen is of them first test runs and I must say it looks absolutely incredible. It's a 252 foot tall Intamin hyper coaster and uh, yeah this looks fantastic. At the start of the video just there you can see the details in the station like you've got all the blue and silver, looks very modern and as it starts to climb the lift hill there at a good speed looks like you're going to get some fantastic views across the area uh, where it's located inside the park means when you're going up the lift hill you'll be able to look off to the left and see all that the fields all the local area and then onto the right hand side where you've got the car park and the rest of the park sort of round to the right just behind it but you'll definitely get a great view of the park on its return as it makes its way down the first drop there building up some fantastic speed into the rest of the ride uh, I love the turnaround section I love all the little camel hills looks like you're gonna get a good mix actually of ejector airtime and floater airtime but uh, yeah it looks like it's gonna be a brilliant ride uh, it's got a fantastic speed like I say 88 miles an hour and it certainly looks like that from this footage as well bear in mind this is of the first test or a very early test of Hyperion and um, so yeah it's only gonna get faster and I can't wait to get on this thing at some point this year I've not booked my trip out there yet I'm waiting until we got confirmation that there's an opening date I don't want to go and book something and go out there and not get on this ride so uh, yeah it looks brilliant some of my favorite elements on that of course the first drop straight down into the tunnel I like the look of the turnaround section and all the different twists 
towards the end of the ride as well. It's very low level, uh, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of Millennium Force. However, I'm sure this would be a lot better, because uh, if you've seen the Cedar Point vlogs, I wasn't overly impressed with Millennium Force. Don't get me wrong, it was still a fantastic ride, but compared to the hype it gets, I don't think it was worth that. But uh, yeah, it looks great. It's expected to open at some point next month, as in August, but there's still no official opening date. It could open in a few weeks' time, could open in September. Uh, from what we can sort of guess with the ride at this stage, it's going to be next month. These sort of rides, they've got to go through a lot of testing, then you've got to get people on there uh, and testing that and operations, train your staff on it, all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be ready in not too long now. It looks fantastic and I can't wait to get out there and experience it soon. Something that has opened there in the past week is Toy Story Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios at the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. It opened on June the 30th and this looks fantastic. Again, some video footage coming on your screen from this. Uh, you can see the entrance to the new area there and then the highlight of it, a brand new launch coaster, a double launch coaster uh, manufactured by Mack Rides. And uh, yeah, it's good to see Mack getting in there uh, with some Disney attractions. Hopefully we'll see more. Personally, I'd love to see a, a powered suspended coaster, a bit like Arthur at Europa Park, maybe used for one of the dark rides at Disney. I think it'll work really well. But uh, yeah, it's not just Slinky Dog Dash in this area. As much as that does look fantastic, you can see it running around the area, heavily themed head choppers. The second launch looks really good and at night as well it looks even better with the lighting package that Walt Disney Imagineering have installed but uh, hopefully this will be the start of a, a, a much stronger relationship for Mack Rides and the Walt Disney Company I hope so I mean there's already quite a few Mack attractions at the Disney parks but I'd like to see more especially along the lines of coasters but uh, yeah you've got two new rides in this area you've also got uh, the Alien Swirling Saucers attraction that's located just next to it very similar to uh, Mater's Junkyard Jamboree over at Disney California Adventure uh, where there's a good high throughput attraction and they all spin around and interact. And then finally you've got a new entrance to Midway Mania uh, which is there as well. Before you used to go in around the front in the Pixar Studios area, now you go in at the other side of the show building and they've themed it all to Andy's backyard. The whole area is like you've been shrunk down and you're with all these toys in Andy's backyard. So what they've done with the back of the show building for Midway Mania is put like a fence all around it uh, which certainly looks very good it's a lot better than it looked before around the front and I can't wait to get there and experience this in about two and a half months time uh, when me and Alex head out to Florida it's going to be a fantastic trip uh, so make sure you stay tuned as much as Slinky Dog isn't a high thrill coaster I think personally it was perfect for that park you've got Rock and Roller Coaster the only other coaster in that park uh, and that's a high thrill coaster with this a nice family ride it should have a good throughput once they've got it running properly. I think it's got four trains from what people say. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a perfect investment for the park. I can't wait to get out there and ride it myself and just see it in action. I know it's not a high thrill ride. Some people I think have been quite negative about it because personally I just think it's a great attraction for that park. It's a family ride, it's themed to Toy Story, it's a family film. So yeah, it couldn't be a high thrill coaster. They had to do something like this. So personally, I think it looks really good. And uh, yeah, it might not be the biggest, most intense thrill ride, but I think it's perfect for what Disney wanted to achieve uh, just here. Anyway, moving on from that, look forward to seeing it soon. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit now for some quick updates about what's happening in the next couple of weeks. So, opening soon, we will have the Eurosat Can Can Coaster at Europa Park. That is set to open at some point in July. There's no official confirmation on a date yet, but it is expected to be at some point this month. I'm expecting it to be maybe the last few days of July, because there's still a little bit of work to be done on the theming. But let's have a little look at one of the ride vehicles on your screen just there for the Can Can Coaster. And I must say, I think it looks incredible. I love all the smaller details there, all the colors on the trains, a nice red, blue, gold. It looks awesome, that does. And uh, yeah, I look forward to riding it. It's a complete retrack of the old Eurosat. It's got like a dual station now as well, so it means that uh, there's going to be a VR ride on there, completely separate theme uh, that'll be interesting to see. As much as I'm not a big fan of VR, I think Europa Park will probably pull it off because they are quite good at that sort of thing. And uh, with it being on this attraction, it means that it's not going to be slowing down the throughputs with it having a separate station. But uh, yeah, Eurosat Can Can Coaster looks really good. I can't wait to see what theming there is in the ride around the track. Uh, I know that Scruffy Dog are actually working on some of the theming, uh, along with Mac Solutions. I mean, Scruffy Dog have done quite a bit in the UK, especially at Thorpe Park. Um, so let's see what happens with this one. And uh, yeah, I look forward to following it here on Theme Park Worldwide. 
The final bit of news to talk about is of the opening of two brand new areas at Toverland this Saturday. And uh, yeah, it looks beautiful. It's Port Laguna and Avalon. I spoke about it a lot. You've got the highlight coast of Phoenix. There's a Merlin's Quest boat ride that runs round. Honestly, this all looks gorgeous. We've not really had any updates on this for about a week now. I think they're saving it to do all the finishing touches and then do like a big release. But it looks gorgeous. And in next week's episode, we'll talk all about it in detail. Have a look at some footage from the area and some photos as well. Uh, I'll be out there in about two months time uh, where I'm going on a trip with Martin, Leah and Charlotte where we're doing a week, we're doing lots of other different parks and of course visiting Toverland for the new area as well. So I look forward to sharing that here on Theme Park Worldwide. Anyway, it's time for the launch of a brand new section now here on the channel. We've done something similar before, uh, but now it's time to freshen it up a little bit because it's not just going to be about roller coasters. It's time for Guess That Ride. <laughs> of a brand new section. And if you've not guessed what it is already, it is quite self-explanatory this one. It's all about guessing what the ride is. Now I've done a similar section before called Name That Coaster. It was any roller coaster in the world and I'd play a sound clip and you guys had to guess down below in the comments what it was, just for fun. But this one's gonna be a little bit different because instead of it just being coasters and sound clips, I'm now opening it up. It could be any ride out there in the world, whether it's a dark ride, a log flume, could be a pirate ship, or it could still be a roller coaster. And now it's not just gonna be a sound clip. It could also be a zoomed in, like crops image of this ride as well. Obviously each week I'll share either an image or a sound clip, and it's just a fun, no prizes or anything like that. Comment down below on the video what you think it is, and then the week uh, after episode, I will release what that was. It went down really well before, so I thought I wanna bring it back bigger and better, something a bit different, and this section will be in TPW Weekly every single Wednesday that there's an episode. So uh, yeah, make sure you stay tuned for this one throughout the year. It's gonna be a good one, this, to last for the rest of the series. And uh, yeah, are you ready for your first ever one? It is gonna be a sound clip, and I'm gonna give you a bit of a clue as to what this one is. It is actually a dark ride somewhere in mainland Europe. So there you go, that's your clue. It's gonna be a sound clip and it's a dark ride in mainland Europe. Remember, it is just for fun and comment down below on this video what you think it is. I might drop some hints and clues in there every so often, so maybe check back every few days to see if I have, uh, if you're really into this section. Also, other people might know it. Some people might start a bit of discussion as to what they think it is. It's always a good fun one, it's always a good laugh. And as always, I check the comments daily here on the channel. I love seeing what you guys think it is. So uh, here we go. It's time for you guys to guess the ride. And stop the sound clip. So there you go, you've got until next Wednesday to guess what that ride was and tune back next week for another episode of TPW Weekly with all the latest news and of course this brand new section. There we go, I look forward to uh, revealing it in next week's episode. Welcome to Merch Paradise. So as you might know, Blackpool Pleasure Beach is my favorite theme park here in the UK. I love the history of the park. And a few years ago, a good friend of mine actually gave me lots of old maps from the park from all through the 90s and the early 2000s, and I've got them all here. But I'll show you the front covers of a few of these. But uh, yeah, you look at those, the classics there. You got like Tom Sawyer Bridge. It's obviously where Icon is now. Uh, some of these are great. Look at that, Pepsi Max big one with the old trains on the front. Yeah, and he gave me all these old maps. This is a good one here. Ice Blast there, the big one. Fireworks going off in the background. Oh, I love it. That's quite a nice one as well there. But uh, yeah, aren't they great, these little items? I mean, I love collecting maps, and it's great to have a lot of new ones, but uh, there you go, that's quite a, a modern design on that one, really, all the different boxes. That's like something what they'd release these days. But this one here is probably my favorite. This is, of course, from 1994, the opening year of the big one. And look at that, we've just got like a concept art of the big one on the front there. But let's uh, open this up, be very careful with these. I want to keep them in pristine condition. I'm literally sorting out all my maps at the moment. Um, but uh, there you go. There's a look at the uh, inside of this. Here we are, Pepsi Max, the big one. The top, the tallest, fastest roller coaster in the world, which is what it was when it first opened. Obviously, you can see the amount of rides in there. It shows how many rides we've lost at Pleasure Beach over the years, really, uh, which is a shame. But uh, 
There you go, a little look at that for you, a little zoom in on it. But uh, yeah, I love it. I like how they put the actual beach and stuff down here at the front as well on that one. You've got the log flume on there, all sorts. Obviously Valhalla doesn't exist. Oh, look at that, what a different park. But uh, there you go. I thought I'd share that with you. Here's a little look at the uh, back. All the different events and shows stuff going on. Showtime at the beach. Maximum entertainment. I love it. All them like 90, 90s cheesy lines. But uh, there you go. I thought I'd share them with you. There's going to be a lot of different merchandise videos actually coming up here on the channel in the next few weeks. So make sure you stay tuned for those. But it's now time for the final section of this week's episode. It's Interact With Me. time for the part of the show that's all about the things that you guys have sent in to us throughout the week. If you've got a birthday shout out, a special occasion or a photo you want to appear in the episodes, all you need to do is message it to us over on our official Instagram and Facebook pages as well. Just send them over there. If it's via Instagram, don't put them via story because uh, it means we can't get the image in the same quality. Send it to us as a message and then it'll appear in next week's video. Firstly then, we've got Jamie who's had a photo there with me. So thanks for sharing that one. Next up we've got Nico with a Red Force on-ride photo there from Ferrari Land. Thank you for that one. We then got Jack with the first of many photos of me and Alex. Me and Alex have done loads this past week and we've seen a lot of fans of Theme Park Worldwide. I always say it, but if you see us, come over and have a chat. It's always great to meet the people that watch our videos. Um, so yes, we've got Jack there with me and Alex. Uh, moving on, we've got Ellie who had a photo there with me and Alex as well. So thanks for sharing that one. Then we've got Jaden on the blue flyer, so thank you very much for sending that one in to us. Moving on, we've got Jenny at Porto Ventura, who you had a fantastic time there. Uh, moving on from that, we've got David with a swarm on ride photo from Thorpe Park. Uh, after that, then we've got Nathan with a Nemesis on ride photo from Alton Towers. And following that, we've got Abby uh, with another Red Force on ride photo, so thank you very much for sending those in. Then got Dylan, or Dylan, sorry, with a smiler on ride photo. I am awful at pronunciation, I'm so sorry. Dylan with a smiler on ride photo uh, there. So thank you very much for sending in that one. I'm so silly, aren't I? Uh, we then got Gria with a blue flyer on ride photo. There we go, thank you for sending in that one. Blue flyer, nice and popular this week. And then got Graham who had a photo, guess who with? Me and Alex. So thank you very much for sending in that one. Then got Jackson uh, with Lee just there as well. Glad you got to meet him. Thanks for sending in that one. Then got Luke with an Incredicoaster on ride photo. There you go. I'm glad you've been out there to experience it. If you want to know more about Incredicoaster, uh, if you've not been out there yet, check out last week's episode where I talk all about the new addition uh, to California Adventure. Moving on then, we've got Ryan who had a photo with me and Alex. There you go. Thank you very much for sending in that one. Then got Joey with the Congo River Rapids on ride photo just there. Thank you very much for sending that one in. Beautiful weather for the rapids. I'm absolutely baking in here at the World of Theme Parks today. Uh, and then we've got Stu and Matty who also had a photo with me and Alex uh, just there. So thank you very much for sending that one in. Quite funny how many photos me and Alex have had this week. But uh, yeah, lots of vlogs with me and Alex throughout the past week. So go and check them out. Uh, we've done so much. It's been great doing all these different things, especially the Hoppins vlog. It's a great one. Check it out tomorrow. And we have a special guest, Disney Mark, as well. He's famous on Instagram. We had a great time. It was brilliant. Uh, also, a happy second anniversary uh, to Brody and Lucy as well from myself and all of us here at Theme Park Worldwide. There we go. That is all for this week's action-packed episode of TPW Weekly. I hope you've enjoyed watching it just as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you guys. I'll be back next Wednesday with another episode and check out our daily updates, new videos every day here on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and for this week that means it's time to cue those credits. See you later guys.